Hi, it's Ian and Caroline again at uh, the Hocking Homes Investment Real Estate Team here in Barry at uh, the Keller Williams office. And this afternoon we're actually going to talk to the investment buyer specifically on the day of or the day before closing. Um, this is kind of like the last chance you get to look at the property uh, before you actually take possession or take uh, the keys at least. Um, Good afternoon, Caroline. Welcome back. Hello. <laughs> Terrific. So, um, Caroline, um, you had a recent case um, where some of the things that we check for. So we go walk through the property the day before closing and we find something that really the seller didn't do or did do. What was your example just recently? The example we had, uh, there was an issue with the location of uh, the service hydro wire. Um, and the seller was going to relocate that um, because it was dangling below uh, the window. Obviously not a good idea when you had tenants in there being able to grab a, a, an incoming hydro wire. Um, that was all meant to be relocated above the window before closing. Uh, I noticed the week of uh, closing it wasn't done, so we sent a reminder out. It still hadn't been done on the day of closing. So ultimately, uh, the lawyers decided to extend the closing day by a couple of weeks just to get the seller enough time to do that. So that's the kind of thing that's important. If you've written something in specifically for the sellers to do, you want to make sure that it is done before closing. Yeah, absolutely. It's due diligence on behalf of the buyer's agent mm -hmm. as well, uh, just to go through and make sure that everything uh, is kind of the way it should be. Uh, another example could be um, in the agreement, maybe um, you're emptying the house because you want to do a substantial renovation and the tenants are supposed to have left. <laughs> what if they didn't? Uh, so this is a good, uh, good chance to go walk through the property, make sure that everything really is as it, uh, as it should have been. Um, and then of course on the day of closing, um, you're gonna pick up the keys from the lawyers. Uh, as usual, you're probably not gonna walk through the property on the day of closing, but there is one other thing that you should do uh, on the day of closing because the seller may not have done it. Uh, provide a letter, maybe. Absolutely, you want the new tenants to know uh, who you are um, and come the first of the month, next month, you want to make sure that they send the, uh, their rent checks to you and not to the, uh, the previous landlord. So always make sure that you introduce yourself, whether it's in person, uh, certainly in writing as well, just so they have details of how to reach you should any issues come up and where they pay their rent. So a couple of hints and tips there from uh, for the investor buyer who's getting ready to close on their on their investment property, and uh, of course lots more things that go into that. That was just a snippet of uh, of a couple of ideas, but uh, there's a lot more that goes into those last couple of days that might at first seem apparent. So give us a call at the Hocking Homes team, and we'd be delighted to go through our process with you, uh, show you what we do, and of course we'd love to help you with uh, with your next investment purchase.